Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Get Ready With Me. I'm going to do a voiceover. I haven't done a voiceover in a while. So, uh, I'm going to be doing a look for my MAC event that I went to this weekend. And I basically had on this wig and this look for like 14 hours straight. So, I wanted to show you guys how I get my long lasting look. Like what I do when I know I'm going to be like taking pictures and doing a lot out and about all day and stuff so basically I'm just putting on my wig this is actually like all over YouTube like everybody has already done this whole using the got to be glued and everything you guys actually helped me out with which ones to use what to use and stuff so I figured that I would show you guys how I put my wig on but it's actually really simple this is a wig from divaswigs.com and it's their uh, just basic long, it's 26 inches, so it basically goes all the way down to my bootay. But um, I'm just using the Got To Be gel and the spray because both of those together combined is like cement for your wig. Like it won't go anywhere, girl. You can flip your head, you can do backflips, you can go like skydiving and your wig won't fly off. That's how I do that. Uh, if you guys wanna see a video on how I lay my wigs and stuff, cause I did wash and straighten this wig. I, this is not straight out of the box. So if you wanna see that, I can do a video on that. Then I'm going to go in with my Drunk Elephant products. I actually bought the vitamin C serum. So the C Firma serum, which I talked about in my favorites video, most recent favorites and haul video. And then after I posted that video, Drunk Elephant actually hit me up and was like, hey, you want to send you some more products? Wouldn't you like to see Firma? And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> send them to me, all right? So they sent me the hydrating serum, and I mix those two and wear them underneath my foundation because it helps to keep my skin hydrated and protected throughout the day so that I'm not, like, dry or, you know, my makeup isn't seeping into my pores and breaking me out. So I go in with a dreams, the Dream Screen by Benefit, and this is a sunscreen. It's SPF 45 just to help my skin to um, not be damaged further because when you use any kind of lightning brightening serum you need to use an SPF. All right moving on to Dr. Brandt. This is the pores no more primer. This primer if I feel like if I don't use this primer I don't know what I'm doing. Like I feel like my face just slides off when I don't use this primer. It's perfect for smoothing your skin out and blurring any imperfections in your skin. And then I'm going in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and this is the dark color. This is actually too dark for me so I don't use it to set my foundation but what I do use it for is underneath my foundation I feel like when I use this around the perimeter of my face it helps for my foundation to blend on the edges better does that make sense like a lot of times when I use a foundation it matches the inside of my face perfectly but then like the air around like my jawline and my forehead it looks a little bit too light or it'll look off and then like when I turn certain ways you can kind of tell that it doesn't really match so what I do is I use this powder to like lay down a, a light layer of color first it kind of actually helps to bronze my skin up a little bit before I put the foundation on so that it blends perfectly this is the Tarte shape tape concealer and this is the color dark I use this as kind of like a foundation around the perimeter of my face because it's perfect I love this concealer so much and I've seen iris um, if you guys don't know Iris Bellin, she's amazing and uh, she uses this as a foundation so I saw her use it so I was like let me try it and I love it you guys can tell like look at this color like it's great it's a perfect color for me and it provides a really good coverage a really good amount of coverage so I like using this as a foundation I use it around the perimeter of my face and then I'm gonna go in with another foundation now this seems like I'm doing a lot but this is helping me last all day y'all okay so Listen, don't judge me. I got a lot to do today, okay? So I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And the thing about this foundation is that it does have flashback a little bit. So I am, you know, just using this with other stuff because I find that it isn't as perfect of a shade. I mean, it's a good shade for me. Like, perimeter of my face, not so much. But the inside of my face, yo. And what I love about this foundation is that it is completely matte. It does not budge at all and it stays on all day perfect amount of coverage it's full coverage very full coverage but it stays all day and it stays matte doesn't make me oily at all so it's definitely a good foundation for long wearing long lasting days when you need to wear your makeup for over 10 hours like double wear will keep you 
right and tight, girl. Right and tight. So I use this foundation, but I have to mix it. So that's why I put down the, the shape tape first to kind of help to contour around the perimeter so that it blends better because otherwise it'll kind of look masky when I do flash photography and stuff. And I knew I was going to go into a party that night, so I didn't want any flashback. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand, which I got a new color because tan had a more of a palish undertone. This one fits me a little bit better, but still not the right color for me. It's still a little bit too light. But I just love this concealer so much, so I can still use it. And I mix it with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer to kind of help tone it down. And this is the color, um, I want to say it's like tan medium or something, I don't know, but it's a little bit deeper. So I mix those two to give me like the perfect shade. And then this is my beauty blender to blend all of that out underneath my eyes, give me that wide awake, uh, I just woke up and I had 5,000 gallons of caffeine look. So, yeah. I used the other side where I blended in my foundation with um, to blend out the concealer so there's no harsh lines. So, one end I used for foundation, the other end for concealer. This is the Becca powder. This is a setting powder by Becca and it is so nice. The actual powder itself is so finely milled that it's like super soft on the skin. I like the texture a little bit better than the Laura Mercier because sometimes that can be a little bit too chalky and light for me. This one has a really nice warm undertone to it so it's not too ashy and I really like it. I don't know why I never heard of this but my girl Jade was using it and she's like girl you gotta try this Becca powder so I bought it and I like it a lot. This is the Cover Effects Click Stick Cover Click. What is this? In 100, yeah. In 100. And I'm just using a brush to apply that to my nose contour because even though I can apply the stick to my face directly from the tube, uh, like around the perimeter, when I use it on my nose, sometimes I apply way too much product and then it's hard to blend out. So I've started just using a blending brush to apply it and it works way better. So, you know, learning from my mistakes, guys. I'm not perfect. I don't do everything perfect. So sometimes I have to improvise and learn how to, you know, work with myself, okay? And we're going to just pretend that's a mic and sing it to it for a little bit. All right, so we're going to blend this out with the side of our beauty blender. You got to work with this beauty blender, y'all. Y'all got to use like every edge of it, okay? <laughs> so I'm blending out around the perimeter of my face, giving me a nice bronze. We're going to sing, we're going to dance, and we're going to move on to our setting powder. So this is the powder that I use to set my entire face, to blend everything together. I know it seems like I'm using a lot of products, and it's because I am, because I'm trying to make this girl. We got to last all day, okay? We don't have time to be playing no games with our face. So I'm setting with the Studio Fix Powder, which is a full coverage foundation powder, but it is a, an amazing powder if you want an airbrush look. So I'm using that, and that's the color NC43. And <laughs> I was clearly jamming, y'all. Um, now I'm going in with my ColourPop Brow Pencil, and this is Bangin' Brunette, something like that. I am filling my brows just the normal way that I fill them in. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just, you know, light strokes in the front. And bringing that color all the way through the brow to darken them up and make them look nice and neat. And there goes that second pencil that I had to use because the first one was running out. So, yeah, glad I got my package that day. We're going to go ahead and keep filling in our brows, making them look super fleeky. And I'm just going in with a concealer from my Cover Effects palette to make sure that I clean those up and make them nice and crispy underneath. Um, I don't really do it on the top, just on the bottom to clean up any mistakes that I made and blend that out with a blending brush. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced powder and this is the Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm just using a blending blush brush to blend that into the hollows of my cheekbones and around my forehead and down the bridge of my nose where I put the contour just to bring back that darkness and shadow to contour my face. And I also use a blending brush to blend that bronzer in my crease of my eye um, to give the appearance of eyeshadow even though I'm not going to be wearing eyeshadow for this look but I just wanted to put something on the lid or in the crease rather to just give some warmth to the eyes. 
So I'm going in with some mascara and I usually just use a travel size mascara with a smaller wand so that I can get in my brows and really uh, define those brow hairs. Even though I did fill in my brows, I feel like the hairs get lost sometimes so I just like to do that to add some more dimension to the eyebrow to make them look more 3D. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Trooper liner and I am just doing my wing liner. Now my wing liner is not perfect, especially not in this video. It's never really perfect but I definitely messed up a couple times. And my trooper liner kept drying out on me so I had to use another liner, the, the MAC eyeliner. And it just, I just was struggling with my eyes today. But the day before, I did the most perfect wing liner ever. So I'm really frustrated because I wish I would have recorded it the day before. But, you know, you do what you gotta do, okay? You work with what you got. So, my eyeliner is not perfect, but that's okay. We're gonna move on to the lashes because I was running out of time and I was gonna be late. So I needed to go ahead and just finish it up, girl. So now I'm putting on mascara to prep for my lashes. I'm also putting mascara on the bottom lashes as well. And then I'm going in with my lashes. These are the Southern Beauté Christy Lash. And I'm applying those with Star Glue because Star Glue is my favorite uh, and it doesn't budge. So I'm just applying those to my lash line. And then we're gonna go in with our blush. So first I'm gonna use this luminous, shiny, sparkly blush from Too Faced. And this is the Sweet Peach Papa Don't Peach blush. Papa Don't Peach. Papa Don't Peach is my favorite because it like, it's not really a blush on me, it's more of a highlight, but it's a cheek highlight. So it's a little bit rosy. And that's why I like to use it on my cheeks, just to bring light to them. I also put it a little bit on my nose as well, just to make a uniform look on my face and um, make it look bright and just shiny and luminescent and cheeky, you know? And then I'm going to add some more highlight on top of that. I'm gonna use Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. I use the colors Conceited and I used the Jackie Ina collab, which is LeBron's, to give me some extra, extra glow. Extra glow alert. So I make sure to put that on my cheekbones, on my nose, and also in the inner corners of my eyes to give me a little bit of pop. Just a little bit of pop. Not a lot of pop. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my White Charcoal Mattifying Spray by Bosha and set my face with that. And then I'm gonna do my lips. So on my lips today, I'm wearing BFF3 Lip Pencil by ColourPop. This is my basic, like, whenever I just want to have a nice, sleek lip, nothing crazy, just a nice nude lip. This is my favorite lip liner, and I'm going to put MAC Dash of Spice Liquid Lip Color on top of that. And then after that, we're going to give face because we're done, girl. Yes, this is the look. This is my basic go-to when I want to look fancy and pretty all day and last all night and not move, I can sweat, I can swim, I can do everything I want to do with this look on and it ain't going nowhere I stand all day. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do more videos like it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye! I don't know what to wear tonight. Okay, cause I'm gonna be by my wife. She gonna be looking real good in that dress. So after we done, I'm gonna try to have me some sex.